வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் கௌதம் வெல்கம் டு இம்மார்டல் யூனிவர்ஸ் அஸ் வி ஆர் நோ தட் எக்ஸ் ரேஸ் ஆர் ப்ரொடியூஸ் பென் ஹை வெலாசிட்டி எலக்ட்ரான்ஸ் ஸ்ட்ரைக்ஸ் ஆன் டார்கெட் மெட்டல் ரைட் டூ யூ நோ விச் மெட்டல் இஸ் யூஸ் இன் தி எக்ஸ் ரே டியூப் தட்ஸ் ரைட் இட்ஸ் எ டங்ஸ்டன் டங்ஸ்டன் இஸ் யூஸ்ட் எஸ் எ ஃபிலமெண்ட் இன் கேத்தோட் சைட் அண்ட் டார்கெட் இன் அனோட் சைட் ஓகே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஃபார் யூர் பெட்டர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் லெட் மீ பிக் அ சிங்கிள் ஐட்டம் ஃப்ரம் த டார்கெட் மெட்டல் அண்ட் ஷோ இட் அவுட் ஹியூ and i have some amount of high velocity electron which is arrived from the filament okay here when this high velocity electrons goes and interacts with the atom during interaction there will be production of enormous amount of heat and some amount of x ray photons and the enormous amount of heat is due to excitation and ionization of electrons in various cells in atom of the target and some amount of x ray photons due to characteristic interactions and bremsstollen interaction and this both interactions plays a major role to produce x rays and we use this x rays to take radiographic image in medical field okay let me explain this both interactions in one by one first let me tell about characteristic interactions for the sake of explanation i just focus on a single high velocity electron and single atom of the target here when this high velocity electrons goes and ionizes the k shell electron their vacancy is created let me make it clear how ionization happens there the energy of the filament electron has higher energy than the binding energy of the k shell electron and the k shell binding energy is 69.5 kilo electron volt and the higher energy of the filament electron has more than 70 kilo electron volt and because of that reason their ionization occurs after ionization vacancy is created and the atoms gets unstable to fill that vacancy the l shell electron accelerates and drops down to fill the k shell vacancy during this acceleration the potential energy of l shell electrons loses some amount of energy into characteristic x rays and this is how characteristic x rays are propagated when l shell electrons drops down to fill the k shell and it is known as k alpha if m shell electrons drops down to fill the k shell vacancy and it is known as k beta and this characteristic x rays was first discovered by british physicist charles glover barclay in 1909 later nobel prize was awarded to him for his discovery in 1970 and this is about the characteristic interactions and like this characteristic x rays are propagated second let me tell about the bremsstollen interaction and bremsstollen is a german pronunciation that means the breaking radiation for the sake of explanation i just focus on a single high velocity electron and single atom of the target here when this high velocity electron passing near to the nucleus due to the coulomb force of attraction the electrons deflect and loses its kinetic energy into bremsstollen and this transformation of energy satisfies the law of conservation of energy and the amount of bremsstollen x ray is determined by the distance between the high velocity electron and the nucleus of the atom of the target when this high velocity electron directly impacts with the nucleus there will be a production of maximum amount of x ray photons when it goes close to the nucleus there will be a production of moderate amount of x ray photons when it goes farer to the nucleus there will be a production of less amount of x ray photons and this bremsstollen is also called as continuous x ray and white radiation and this is about the bremsstollen interaction and like this bremsstollen x rays are propagated and that's it about the interactions i think this video is useful for you if you have any doubts or feedbacks feel free to put comments on my comment box i will try to make it in my upcoming lectures and thanks to all for your supports and nandri vanakkam